now again. Well, for reasons I will not get into here or now, I end up getting back a bit later than I expected to. Go about a day or so. But I'm back now and I plan to address with the new information about Pokemon Ultra Ultra Moon as well as some of the potential stuff touched on from the, the in development Switch version of the game as well as some of the stuff from the game for interview with them this month. I won't go into too, uh, too much detail about the last one, but I will address things out of me. Okay, so two new bits of information that came in videos today. By the two new trailers, so I think I'll be addressing those. Oh, that? And also, furthering my, I, I, not only a blog post, but a YouTube video I made about it, fed to this infamous article that you might manage to say this guy was wrong about them being no new features, as well as potentially not being partner Pokemon. Even I was on the fence about that, but wasn't ruling it out either way. Hey, hey, it's a possibility, I'll admit that. And in addition to new Z power moves and new Z power ring toy, I mean that look into at some point. Very nice design. I think the little crystal prototype might be representing the Pikachu and the MZ. He, uh, well, I can't really tell, man. A new Z move with Como, who may not be one of my favorite of the Pokemon, but he's on the list. Turning Clanging Scales into Clangus Soul Blaze. Just saying it sounds fun. We should have more potential features, more a new story, which, like he said, was more than thinking. Although, continuing last game's storyline, also including Ryuki as well as Kahili. Could be really more about them. Um, and also, Sogalio and Nana and Necrozma are going to be involved, as is Necrozma as a whole. And they are hinting at the fact that the. the Dust like is gonna be DLC like it is in Japan. And also another big feature, Pokemon Photo Club. So I got a little bit of video with them there from an interview game for me. Looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Gonna be having new content all month, it seems. And other things stood out, I mean, when they interview many of the people in the company, notably he Shiguro Mori, who directed, did, 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 did Sun and Moon, as well as Junichi Masuda, one of the series co-creators. Both people have been very part of the franchise in the beginning. I mean, it's actually interesting to see what one development in that sense, given how Generation 3, it was the first one that Masuda handled after Tajiri handed the reins to him. It was actually pretty, pretty taxing on him, however... I still find the whole process to development fascinating, and that's further by them working on Switch version. They say, I feel like me to kill expectations, Ed, and I will. However, the potential Breath of the Wild level experience intrigues me since that's a case you absolutely love on Wii U. I mean, I don't have a Switch yet, but I still want to get one in the near future, and it's something that I hey, would be worth only more performance square than. And they are definitely trying to craft something that's going to appeal new fans, but also ones that have been there since the beginning, like me. And Photo Club feature, looks like going to be a lot of fun, to be honest. And all in all, that like, it's definitely a bit short, I'm expecting, with this kind of countdown video. And even though it's a day late, it's because of what happened. Again, I'm not going to get into it here. I will say that the, the the whole prospect intrigues me, and it's definitely going to be a lot of fun if we want to work on getting paid off in the next next three months or so. Another other games coming out, I probably do talk about those at some point, but my top priority is going to get my gear getting them paid off, so I can pick them up on launch day without without any problems. And I think I got about forty-seven dollars out of the out of the ED I need paid on them, so I definitely want to do that. And because of what happened, I might finally be able to do some of the other products for better or worse. I mean, to 
get things worked on here that I've been wanting to do a year ago. And also, also, I want to, I want to just recharge my stuff and myself of because experience in the last couple of days, man. Especially yesterday, since hey, because I've been coming back heck here like a day later, I was hoping to. Anyway, sorry about the delay. I will definitely keep working on other projects. I mean, I mean, just another Pokemon video is one that definitely won't mean a lot to me. Hey, you are doing. I mean, the Batman movie marathon, starting up the Super movie marathon again. I'm gonna do Jump to get ready for Justice League. I might even do some other bonus videos, man. I know, maybe one Wonder Woman that's also coming on DVD and Blu ray as well. Yeah. And. Also, still might have to do my high X Men movie retrospective, given how get ready, heading for New Mutants and Deadpool 2 next year, even with a whole thing that happened with the stunt woman. That's very sad, I mean. Sad, I mean. But anyway, that'll be all for now. I'll also, gonna get ready for this solar eclipse coming. But, regardless of what happens, I'll still do the Pokemon Night video. Yeah, you know I mean, I definitely don't plan on going blind before I go see The Last Jedi or anything else related series. For the Ice you movie, definitely not. So, anyway, hey, that's all I got for now. Tell me what you think of this, these developments in the comments, and I will see you all later. Mm -hmm.